We're at Stank of America Stadium in Chuckett, South Carolina. The only place where you can eat barbecue while watching players get barbecued. I can't stop thinking about barbecue. Is it obvious? Barbecue. Mm-mm, good. Remember, in the NFL, we encourage you to play with your food. He's probably lining up against you. The Atlanta Vultures take on the Carolina Panzers. Welcome to MFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. If the sound of a torn Achilles followed by laughter and taunting brings a smile to your face, you are attuned to the right place. Hi, everyone. Grim Blitzrow and the NFL crew is coming to you live on game day. Bricks, any uh, thoughts on today's game? Um, I thought I had one, but uh, I think I might have forgotten it. Oh, I remember. Uh, I forgot who's playing today. Careful what you ask for, Grim. The ground game should be their bread and butter. A gain of eight right there. Hey, anyone? And the kicker just bit the dust on that play. Someone will have to come off the bench to replace him. And it's first and ten. And the defense took one over on the quarterback with a sticky ball dirty trick. The only thing the QB can do now is run for his life. Huge pass play for one yard. Second down and nine. The bump play dirty trick is always good for an easy kill. down and nine. And he held on to that one for a first down. First down and seven. Should be an easy chip shot extra point, but you never know with kickers. <laughs> Straight through the uprights. The best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. First and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. Hot. Oh, you see that saw, Bricks? He never saw that. I saw what you saw. A saw you never saw. See, there's the saw there. I see. And it's first and ten. Tired of the quarterback's tight spirals and mech. He was still talking, he'd be saying. Psycho killer Keska Sage. What the fu 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 fuck? <sighs> and it's first and ten. Offense says it's time to put the ref out of his misery. First down in a mile. Ouch! Anyone in the mood for a steak 
Tartar. Second down in a mile. for a big game. But still not enough for a first. Even I'm frustrated, and I'm a team agnostic. Third down and nine. And he reels that one in for a first down to keep the drive alive. And it's first and ten. This guy's a brick shithouse. And that's a first down. Looks like they're just going to pound it up the middle all night, Bricks. I call that the honeymoon offense. No, I'm not going to touch that one. That's what she said. In a fight between King Kong and Godzilla, the player on Roy Brain would win. And he put on the afterburners after that catch and scored. Nicely done. Don't want to make any mistakes here. Just kick the ball through the upright, for God's sake. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuff burrito from Taco Hell. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. First and ten. And picks up maybe a deuce at most. Uh, speaking of deuces, I got a... Uh, <clears throat> hey, you got a dollar for the bathroom attendant? He threatened me if I didn't tip him next time. Playing a guy hit me so hard, I went into a dark tunnel. Thought I saw my grandparents waving at me in the light. Turns out it was just the visitor's tunnel that he knocked me into, and it was the paramedics waving fingers in my face. And that is caught for a first down. First and ten. And he pounds the ball. And the defense calls the thunderclap dirty trick. Man, that's got to hurt. Doesn't make the hair on your corpse stand straight up. Second and three. And here comes the extra point attempt. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just guineas. The home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five. First and ten. Oh, great tackle! When his brain is unscrambled, he'll be thinking about that hit. Yeah, most likely in a conference at home. 
And that'll be second down and four. Third down and eight. That's the end of the first quarter, and it's still anyone's game. Oh, oh could it be mine? Third down and eight. Ooh, hope he's got a good chiropractor. And it's first and ten. First and ten. This guy's going to get mugged in the locker room by his team after the game. Second down and ten. When the defense calls Thunderclap, the offense is toast. Oh, did he ever get zapped? Reminds me, give me an example song. Watch out where the Huskies go. Don't you eat that yellow snow? When I was a kid, I always ate the yellow snow. They were like lemon snow cones. But them fudge ice cream sandwiches, eh, they didn't taste so good. And it's first and ten. Second down in a lot. And the ball is lateral to his teammate. We're talking. Oh, and he looks like he just saw 400 scary movies after that hit. Yeah, sounds like my offseason. And it's first and ten. Second down and long. And he picked up a lot of real estate in a hurry. Give him 10 yards right there. Third down and 10. Well, they couldn't pick up a first down, so now they have to punt. And he got it off. That's a decent punt. He's got the ball now. Let's see what he does with it. Oh, with the punishing hit. And it's first and ten. I've seen this guy run through a brick wall. He loves pain. First down. And it's first and ten. And the defense was ready for that bombs away dirty trick that time. Second down and ten. Uh, 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 
If there were any functioning brain cells before that hit, they're gone now. He's going to have the IQ of a rutabaga after that hit. And it's first and ten. Talk about Butterfingers, he should have had that one. Second down and ten. Oh, big catch! Big run! Big touchdown! Yeah, big deal. Mr. Meat for Brains ran with a ball and didn't fall down. Ghost! Okay, nice and easy like a two-foot putt. You miss two-foot putts all the time, Grim. It's good. They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing. Oh, that'll trim your nostril hairs once and for all. Warning sounds, only two minutes left in the first half. And it's first and ten. They stump the clock with their first time out, leaving them with two in case they need them. Yeah, just like condoms, hatchets, and wives, huh, Grim? You know, you just summed up why we don't get together outside of work, Bricks. The defenders won the feet just kicked in. He's so fast. And that's just a great run for a touchdown. Hmm, I don't remember that being an officially sanctioned NFL rule. And, and the offense jumps off sides to kill the ref. They say, we're mad as hell and not going to take it anymore. First down and forever, and they've had enough. The offense jumps on sides and attacks the ref. First down and a mile. That's how you run the football. A pickup of seven on the play. Grim, why is it that more mentally disturbed clowns don't... And the offense quickly calls their second timeout. That's how you do it. Do what? Second down, and we've got to pick up at least half of this. They pick up a nice chunk of yards on that pass play. And they take their last time out. It's between them and the clock now, Grim. Well, and the defense, too. Third down and forever. Hot one, hot two. Well, that'll trim your nostril hairs once and for all. He refuses to go down. You ever get hit in the head with a boat all, Grim? Nope. Well, I have on several occasions. Not surprising. Multiple times on each occasion. Not surprising. And trust me, that hit was worse. For a kick this far, you just gotta kick it as hard as you can, partner. And Dane, it's really important from this distance. It's probably a smart idea. He's got the distance, and the kick is good! Here 
here comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the kicker. When I turned on the light, it wasn't a bra in my bed. It was a chip wearing a wig. Oh, and that's what they call the money shot. And he sends him to the ground with an exclamation point. And a well-placed cleat. The second quarter comes to a close as the teams head for the locker room, and we take you to halftime. Brought to you by Monsatan Industries. We make genetically engineered food that is to die for. And these guys are neck and neck to begin the third quarter. You talking about them two Siamese twins playing opposing tackles? Yeah, they're putting on a hell of a show. The teams are lined up for the kickoff. Just catch it, run it back, and don't die. And it's first and ten. target more often and it's first and ten and the back gets in there and swats the ball away he can't catch but he sure can swat second down and ten Second down, and the offense says it's time to put the ref out of his misery. <laughs> Second down, and ain't gonna happen, partner. Third down in the offense. Look out, that's an all-out attack on the Q. <laughs> oh, wow. If you're a defender, the only good QB is a dead one, Bricks. Ah, oh, he must be pretty good then, because he is dead. Third down, and the punter is warming up. Shocked is no joke. I used to wear triple wool socks, slide around on a shed copper for eight hours so I could shock my younger brother. I went to change the TV channel and got blown across the room into the deer antlers. And it's first and ten. Second down in a lot. First down! I've seen this guy drop a lot of balls in the past, but I had the quarterback threaten to throw him a real bomb if he dropped one again. You know, good communication is important. And he breaks through for a touchdown! 
touchdown. Listen to this crowd. Hey. You know, this should be easy, but with kickers, you never know. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stop burrito from Taco Hell. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make them pay. Scrambler. And it's first and ten. Anyone in the mood for Newton Tartar? Second down and ten. Pow! With the brain scrambler! Third down and nine. And that is caught for a first down. First and ten. He had it for a second there. Second down and ten. Oh, and that quarterback threads the needle for a first down. First and ten. He caught it, and nothing was going to stop him from getting into the end zone. Except maybe self-doubt, but he seems to have worked through it. And they line up for the extra point. Score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. Oh, man, talk about running into a buzzsaw, Bricks. Okay, he just ran into a buzzsaw. First and ten. Second down and more than the QB would like. Oh man, he really Oh man about a six yard gain. Hey, do me a favor. If my parole officer calls, I was with you last night, Bricks. No problem. I spent the night in lockup for solicitation. Wow, sure, now he catches it. I had this guy on my fantasy team last week. I lost so much money on him, not to mention my kneecaps. My loan shark is very anal about collecting my money on time, Graham. Time to throw, and the defense gets a big sack. Second down, and we've got to pick up at least half of this. Catch the ball, get the first down, and don't die. See, it's really a simple. 
simple game when it comes down to it. And it's first and ten. Oh, with a brutal hit. First down and five. And he snags it for six. Touchdown! Touchdown! <laughs> Don't try to get fancy here. Just put the ball down and kick it. In that order, Grim? It's good. They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing. Two linemen left on the offense, and we'll need to play shorthanded the rest of the game. Hey, don't say mean things about short people, Grim. Hey, at least they don't look down on people. And it's first and ten. And the defense just knocked the wind out of that quarterback. The teams have kept each other at bay for now, but there's still plenty of time to bribe refs and kill the other team's star players, so it's anyone's game, really, Bricks. Second down and a lot. Oh, great pass on that play. They caught the defense napping. Third down and five. <laughs> Boring, but smart. Time to punt. Whoa, whoa, you can't say that on the radio. Nice punt. Should move them back nicely. Nice catch, and he turns on the afterburners. Pump returners in this league have a life big Oh, and that one's gonna hurt. He may not be able to comprehend math after that hit. What's math? Exactly. And it's first and ten. Freud Rage, how do you like your... And that's how you get your buzz on in the NFL. Man, I'm two-fifths into this bottle of scotch. He's at the 20. He's at the 10. And he bursts into the end zone for the score. What a run! <laughs> and here comes the extra point attempt. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stop burrito from Taco Hell. When you get knocked down, you got to get right back up and fight. Uh, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. You know, you got to put the buzzsaw in the MVP conversation, Briggs. Got more kills than anyone in the league right now. Yeah, you make a good point. The offense is down to their final lineman, so he'll be playing center for the rest of the game. How's he going to be able to block all those defenders? Well, he can't, which is why the QB is going to have to get rid of the ball very, very fast if he wants to stay alive. And it's first and ten. Oh, what a sack there! I 
heard this guy likes to play with soft balls. He's going to play with crushed balls from here on out. Second down in a very lot. Looks like a pass. Oh, what a great defensive play that was, Bricks. Kind of like your Aunt Bertha. This guy has some big balls. What a hit. Yeah, she does have a big pair, Grim. You're right. Third down and never going to happen. And that's how you shock the monkey. Thunderclap. And the punter takes a break from knitting on the sidelines to come in and punt. His knitting is in palm grim. That cross stitching, unbelievable. He's got the ball now and is going to try and score. hit that was and that's how you make a guy remember your name and your shoe size because he just walked all over him and it's first and ten he blasted and picks up seven yards right there second and three Chip shot here, extra point, but this guy could blow it. Straight through the uprights. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make them pay. First and ten. Hot one. First and ten. And he 
Pounds the ball into the defense, picking up seven. The defense calls a timeout to stop the clock. They have two left. Second and three. This guy's a brick shit. It's a catch for a one-yard gain. That's not going to do it, fellas. And that's two timeouts gone for the defense. But they've really got to get the ball back to their offense. But the offense has like 30 balls over there on the sideline just waiting for them. Why don't they just use them? Ask the ball boy. He didn't do nothing. Oh, big catch. Big run. Big touchdown. Yeah, big deal. Missed a beat for Bray Fran with a ball and didn't fall down. Now, there are some who would argue that we should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. What, and kick the kicker's job in half? they just be called sinners then. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. They need a good return here to set up the offense. And that's a returnable ball. Returnable? You mean he can get a refund for it? No, no, Bricks. It means he can return it for, you know what? Never mind. And the quarterback signals for a hurry-up offense. Hey, Grim, what's the hurry-up offense? There's no huddle. The offense calls plays at the line of scrimmage and plays really fast. Quick pass picks up maybe two yards. And, that'll be, and that's it. That's the last time out. It's score or die from here out. The offense changes the pace by going into a hurry-up. Does that mean the defense gets into a hurry-up, too? heard footsteps and took his eye off the ball. What a pick ahead. Get the ball, asshole. The offense goes into their two-minute drill. What the hell is that? It's the same thing as a hurry-up offense, you moron. I am so confused. Oh, he just heard footsteps and took his eye off the ball. What a pick ahead. Get the ball, asshole. Hey, asshole up here. Talking to you. In a hurry-up offense, there is no huddle, so neither team can put their players on the bench. Ouch! Anyone in the mood for a steak tartare? And that is one big first down. The QB needs to stop. And this ref is definitely on the take. That was a bogus penalty. <laughs> the offense lost another running back and only two remain on their roster. When a team loses all their running backs, they lose their ability to run the ball. Yeah, like if I rip out your tongue, you won't be able to speak. Tell us something we don't know, genius. And they're going to have to sell. And they've had enough. The offense jumps off sides and attacks the ref. Yeah, <laughs> And the offense goes into a hurry-up to pick up the pace of the game. Maybe the QB should throw it and catch it, too. And it's first and ten. A pickup of about three on that play. The Panzers got rolled over by the opposition and chuck up a loss. The score says it all, but it wasn't even that close. They got blown out at home. Fans left by halftime to forget the game and start watching the new Game of Bones on NBO. You know, I watched that on my phone, too. Oh, really? Let's go down to the field and see how badly the MVP rubs it in. with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. and all the folks at Evil SN want to thank you for watching this presentation of the Mutant Football League. Today's final game stats are brought to you by the Microhar Corporation. They get it right every up.